Hello there guys and welcome back to a brand new update video with myself Furum. Now today we're going to be taking a look at what is coming in the Rust update on the 2nd of March 2017. Now as you can see here I've got Lieutenant Snow with me and he is rocking some really good gear. So as you can see we now have the holster within the game. So you will now see any weapons that a player has on their back and on their hips. So if we just take a little look here, the primary weapon is on the back and you can see the sidearm of a pistol on the hip. And then if we take a look at the other side, you will see any explosives, raiding tools on the other hip. So now what we're going to do is we are going to run through the hierarchy of each of these slots. So first off, we're going to be starting with the back slot and I'm going to run through every single weapon, starting with the main priority and then working our way down through. If you do want to skip this part of the video, then just go on ahead and jump down to the bits after I do all of these breakdowns, because there are a lot of weapons to go through. So starting off first with the back slot and the main weapon priority is the rocket launcher, followed by the M249. Following that is the LR300, then we have the bolt action rifle. Next up we have the AK slash assault rifle, then we have the MP5. Next is the flamethrower, and then the semi-auto rifle. Next is the custom SMG, followed by the Thompson, then the pump shotgun, followed by the double barrel shotgun, then the water pipe, then the crossbow, then next is the bow, then the mace, followed by the salvaged cleaver, then the longsword, then next is the stone spear, followed by the machete, then the salvaged sword, Next is the wood spear, then the pickaxe, then the salvaged axe. Next is the salvaged hammer, then the salvaged pickaxe, then the hatchet, then the stone hatchet, and lastly the stone pickaxe. So now we'll be taking a look at the sidearm slot. So the first and most primary weapon is the M92, followed by the P250 slash semi-auto pistol. Next up is the python followed by the revolver, and then lastly, the Ioka pistol. And then for the last slot, which is the raiding tools slash explosive slot. The most primary is the C4, followed by the satchel charge, followed by the grenade, and then lastly, the bean can. So that is everything that is currently within the holster. I'd like to say a big thank you to Lieutenant Snow for coming to give me a hand with this video today. Thank you very much. I will leave a link to his channel down in the description, guys. So make sure you go and have a little look over at him. He is making some Rust content and he's being very good within the community. So go and check him out and give him some love. I'm also going to leave down in the description a link to the Rust Amino. Now, this is an app you can get on your phone. And if you go over there, we've got a good community going on with frequent community events. We're getting one going mostly every weekend. So then moving on from the holster and on to the next updates, this week is obviously the first update in March, which brings with it a forced wipe and a load of new proc gen updates. So the first thing you're going to be noticing here in front of me is overgrowth. Now you will be seeing this on all of the trash piles plus all of the monuments. Now I'm not going to go around and show it all to you because that completely ruins it. It looks very good and you are going to have a lot of fun exploring You'll also notice here to the left hand side that we do now have new plants and flowers also and these will slightly sway in the wind. Another thing that you will also be noticing is that this snow biome is now a lot bigger than it previously was. There has also been a change to the no build zone around the train yard. It is now slightly bigger than it previously was. And there is also an increased minimum distance between caves. You'll also no longer be finding mountains in maps smaller than 3k. And you will also now be able to find loot boxes down in the caves. Another change that we have this week is the pump shotgun has now been lowered in price. It now costs 20 high quality metal, 2 metal pipes and 1 metal spring. And then the last thing that I have for you guys this week is an update with the turret. When you have the turret set to peacekeeper mode, the laser will now be green. So you will be able to tell from a bit more of a distance as to whether you're going to be shot instantly by a turret 
or whether you can come up to it and as long as you're peaceful you will no longer be shot. The turret also now has changed the way it moves around. You can see it's just scanning the area and it no longer sporadically jumps to different points. The sound when it's moving has also been lowered. Now that is literally everything I have for you guys this week and I just remembered there will be a couple more hours before the update goes live. So the developers very well may add more things or tweak anything that I have talked about in this video. So just make sure you keep an eye on Rust updates on Twitter and make sure that you read the dev blog once it comes out. I hope you guys have enjoyed, if you have make sure you hit that like button and if you would like to see more content make sure that you are subscribed. Thank you very much guys, have a good day.